Welcome to my store. Gold. I don't think Aaron's got that video posted yet. So they're used to me posting really fast and then waiting for Aaron to come over and post, uh, edit some more so I can post them. So what happens when your 16 and a half year old son is your editor? So basically what you do is you just stick them to the wall and shove the lever down. Stick them to the wall, shove the lever down. And then you can angle them any way you want. Okay, also right now this water is cold, okay, because uh, we ran out of hot a while ago. A regular live, it actually can be frozen. It's not temperature sensitive at all. Okay, hydrometer. Okay, yeah, we still got a ways to go. What's that? Uh, what is that thing? The gauge yeah. room? Yeah. It measures specific gravity, okay? Now, you can get a salt meter where you can take a sample that you don't know what's in it, and you have a little slide, there's a little flap that goes down, you put a drop of water on it, put the flap down, and then you look through it, and then you can tell exactly how much salt you got in the water, as opposed to, if there's other stuff dissolved in this water other than salt, I can't tell. I just know the specific gravity. But this is 14, uh, 15 bucks, something like that. Whereas a salt test is like two or three hundred dollars. This, if you break it, you don't cry so much. The other one, you break it, you cry. But uh, since the only thing we put in here is salt, then we know that uh, we're in the safe range. Like you got to range from here to here. I think you can see that on the camera. And I like the deep six because the numbers on here are actually raised in plastic. I bought these hydrometers from another guy and uh, they were painted on and they washed off. So now the only way I can use it, I took a deep six, tested a sample, and then I marked the line. And then I changed a bit, uh, test the sample, mark another line. Because otherwise it wasn't going to be any use to me. But I go through a lot of these because I break them. Usually I slam the door on them or something. Uh, they're in my truck and slam! Oh crap. I'm actually quite careless. So we'll stir this up a bit more. Also, when you got a brand new hydrometer, you'll notice that the bubbles stick to the plastic more. Okay, because new water, especially uh, straight out of the tap, has all the dissolved gases in it, and uh, when they're uh, put in the tank, they stick to the particles of the salt, they coalesce, they get bigger, and they start to come out of solution. So, new plastic seems to have some kind of a charge on it, so what I usually do is I leave the hydrometer in the guy's fish tank for the first couple of days, week, whatever, and that takes that charge away. And then after that, when you want to find out what the specific gravity is, that's a lot easier to uh, get. Okay, now we're down to 1.030, and as soon as we get down to 1.022, then we'll probably put the salt, the uh, gravel in it. We'll leave the fish tank as it is. Um, now the intake pipe is underwater, so we'll open these valves, and if everything goes yeah. See how the water comes shooting out of here? Well, that's because the water's siphoning down here. So that filter is hopefully filling up. I don't hear. Oh yeah, it's up to here. It's going in really quietly. Soon as the uh, 
water gets into the filter, it's going to come out up here. Tim, fellas, not moving on the filter. 